to explore settlement without need for proceeding so civil cases uh, always deal with the fact that if a case could be resolved without litigation it should be done so in this manner and it also says that if the state settlement is not achieved then this advanced exchange of information can then assist in managing the issues of the claim so even if settlement has not been reached but ha- please have been taken in this uh, part of the procedure shall help in the further case so after that uh, there is start of proceedings the court and the parties need to know when court proceedings have commenced for example in a case the end of the limitation period is near so it should know that uh, one has to put up a case before the court before the lit- limitation period expires the third stage is giving details of the claims to the defendant defendant you should know that what are the claims against him so the defendant is entitled to know what allegations against him or her are then comes the stage of defendant's response the defendant will need to say whether the claim is disputed and if so why this is the previous stage should be should enable the claimant and the defendant to identify precisely what issues are disputed and the defendant may of course admit the claim or say that someone else was to blame or to do nothing so defendant has right to say that he was uh, to blame or not then comes the uh, stage of the exchange of evidence this is quite an important stage it enables both parties to understand the details of the case of their opponent um uh, and what kind of evidence they will present at the trial this facilitates settlements and avoids trial by ambush so this stage also gives um uh, a way forward to the settlement and uh, it saves the time of the uh, court and the money of the trial the court will control what evidence can be adduced fact or expert evidence and when and how that will be adduced orally so it is the duty of the court that what kind of uh, evidence uh, will be produced the next stage is the trial stage the trial stage enables all the re- re- relevant evidence to be heard so that a judge can reach a to see and as to whether the claim succeeds so all the evidence is to be put up during the trial stage and then the uh, court decides the judge decides that um does the claim has a strong weightage or not then comes the enforcement stage and it ensures that the claimant receives any money that the defendant has been ordered to pay so if a person uh, has lost a civil case uh, but he denies that he shall comply with the result so at the enforcement stage he is uh, enforced that he complies with the case or the decision of the court